Hi guys, this is my rubber tree or rubber plant, Ruby Pink One. This is an update on her. And um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, it's been a while because she was, I think, like this tall when I first got her. When she first got to me, she was so tiny. And now she has grown so much. Um, what I do remember was she wasn't very pink when I first got her, when she first got to me. And now she is just so beautiful. Look at how pink she is. Look at that. And of course, the newly opened sheath. I love, love, love freshly opened leaves. They just have like that that um lighter color in regards to the green part uh, it just it's just beautiful i i know like every stage of the leaf i love but that is definitely probably my most favorite part of it all um and it's in every species too every species is always like that like the, it, it it has like that softer kind of lighter color like you can compare from that one to this one that's already been open for a while and 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 this color is going to darken like this one too so anyway the other names for this particular plant is a ficus elastica ruby pink or a um rubber tree or rubber plant ficus elastica either attached with a variegata variegatum variegation variegated and sometimes they just call it pink. Sometimes they just call it ruby pink. Um, I think ruby pink is the most common that it's nicknamed with. And um, I just really, really love her. Initially, when I first got her, I was very bummed because when um, it was kind of advertised as it was like two and a half to three times the size. And when I got her, she was so tiny. Um, I really felt very duped. And of course, the leaves were like, this was an old leaf. They really weren't very pink, like it was white and all of that. You know, it just it just wasn't really a great plant to start with. And now, as you can see, she is much bigger. I do think that the reason she is much bigger now than how she was from the very beginning, even the colors are very, very different. It's because I really do believe it's because of my care and I'm hitting the requirements that she needs so um she sits in a west facing window directly in front of a west facing window there is no obstruction in front of her there is no plant in front of her it's just her and then the window schedule currently for in regards to watering is every eight days and that could change depending on what she would prefer um it's not set in stone but that's just it. How I usually know when to water is when the top part of the soil right here, when I touch that, there's no soil that sticks. Obviously, this one sticks. I'm not going to water that. And she isn't really due to be watered well for now for five more days. So that makes sense. Um, I do that. And of course, maybe the top eighth to a quarter inch is also dry. Um, and that's when I will water her. Um, again, she sits in front of a west facing window. I use regular or all purpose pot, uh, potting soil mix for indoor plants. I don't really recommend the moisture control or even miracle Grow because miracle Grow um, they have pests in their soil because they, someone mentioned in the fact that they have stopped, um, heating up their soil so there's a ton of pests that can occur because because of just how soil is being made um anyway i don't really recommend miracle grow because i've had really bad experiences with them in the past few years and I don't really see that changing anytime soon for them to improve the quality of their products. And if you don't want to deal with fungus nets or nets in general, um, I would really want to avoid that. But if you've never had that kind of bad experience, then go at it. But me personally, when, when family and friends and, um, you know, one of you guys come and ask me about it, I'm always very honest because of my personal experience. And I would never, ever, ever, ever even give a bag of soil to anyone that like I don't like you know because 
having fungus gnats really is a burden. It's very stressful and it's very frustrating to deal with and expensive to get rid of. So anyway, um, and if you want to know how I got rid of my fungus gnat problem, I do have a video of that. So do check that out. It's extensive. Um, so this is what she looks like now. She has probably doubled her height since my last video. She has definitely grown. Um, her color is just beautiful. I love her variegation. And I do, I do believe that because I'm hitting all of the requirements that she is getting this color. I mean, you could see the difference. This is, you know, um, probably one of the new leaves when I first got her. And you have to understand when you first get a plant the first probably few leaves that's already been developing um, is probably not going to be the effect of due to your care. It just depends really. Like for me, whenever, every time I water my plants, I'm very consistent. And the the first day they come to me, I mean, it just depends on the, um, how sa saturated they were when they reached to me. If they're saturated when um, I get them, then I'll give them a few days to dry out before I water them. But the first watering with me, um, my, my water mix is always going to have fertilizer and nutrients and certain supplements to prevent shock because there's always going to be shock. Every time you move a plant, every time you transplant a plant, every time you, you get a plant to your home that's transplanted, shock, you got to think of them in, in the, in their natural habitat. They're not, they're not moved. They're not supposed to move. So when you do move, it does give them that shock. So so a lot of times, you know, they that can really hit them. And it can take them a while to heal before they actually start to be acclimated and healthy. And the way I avoid that is I add a mix in my watering to help combat that. And it will cancel it out. Um, all of All of the the stuff that I use to fertilize and every time I do water is linked down in below in the description section as usual. All my social media accounts are down there as well. So if you want to connect, feel free to do that. I love hearing from you guys all the time. I hope you enjoyed my video. You're going to hit the like, subscribe, and of course the bell. She notified every single time I do upload a new video. Again, a recap. She sits in front of a west facing window. Currently I am watering her every eight days. Um, I do not let water go in the saucer. I make sure there's no water sitting in. I have experimented with this particular plant and it was a it was able to sit in water for the next 20 hours, I would think, or almost 24 hours, but I did take it off. I didn't let it sit there for like a week or five days or anything like that. I don't know the data of that. And so I'm not going to say anything more than that because it's all going to just be an assumption or, th or no really, no, no real conclusion of that because I never really put it into play. Um, I don't know why there are a lot of people that would miss and stuff like that. Just remember, if you want to miss, that's okay. But if you want to miss, you're probably not going to be able to water as often because misting is a form of watering. It's just not directly in the soil. So just do, do, do watch that because some people, um, tend to overwater plants, um, because they miss and they water at the same time and they water as frequently as probably some people that don't mist. Um, so just kind of take that into consider consideration. Um, also, if you guys have any questions, anything to do with this particular plant, anything else to do with this particular plant that you can think of on how I care, how I not care, um, I actually leave, leave this plant alone. All my ficus are resilient. They're resilient. They're happy. They're always growing. They're just beautiful plants. And I just love, love, love every single one of them. Um, so if you guys want to talk about this particular plant, let me know down in the comment section. I love hearing from you guys all of the time. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.